So, so if you don't like clicking, you can specify your aggregation using this text file. Now there is, this text file is not terribly easy to work with. And there is also, um, it's very easy to introduce errors. So the GTAP center is switching over to something called flex ag. Okay, you're still downloading the package. Okay, uh, so if you download in the package, uh, we can just listen to me about the alternative ways. So the flex ag, oh, let me, um, get to the my, my GTAP page, let me just show you. Um, uh, so the, the latest versions of the database are distributed still as a GTAP AG too, but you can also have that flex AG. And if you download the database, which I'm gonna do, um, let me just put it here for the, as an example for, uh, flex ag. And you don't have to do that. I mean, you probably don't have access to the database in the first place. Um, so if you get, let me just wait for it to download. It should not take very long. I'll let you also work on your GTAB ag um downloads while i'm waiting for this one to finish that should be like any minute any second i'm hoping okay it's done so flex ag operates very differently it the the definition of the aggregation is a little bit easier to read uh, let me um unzip the contents of it so i can walk you through that but as i said this is something that is for your interest only you you may not be using it but since you were interested in seeing this and, and how, how this works um so there is no gui like this one anymore so this is mainly for people who do not like to click so people who do not like things like this to be clicking and selecting so in flex ag uh, you define your aggregation and there's an example of it um, here, let me show you. So it's still a text file. However, it feels more like Gempack. It's actually not as much driven by um, the uh, tabs or special characters, but it really just says, you know, like you're gonna read three strings and then you're gonna read the mapping. So it looks, feels like gem pack. So if you're used to gem pack, this actually should be much easier to work with. And there are still instructions on how to aggregate, I mean, how to modify this aggregation file. And uh, so hopefully that may, makes it already easier a little bit than uh, the, the uh, GTAP ag, which would be very punishing um, because it doesn't really indicate uh, how many strings there will be. And if you make an error and it does not read this as an end of the text, then it will just go haywire. So, so this flex ag is very clear. You will be specifying 160 uh, countries to aggregate. So it's a little bit easier, I think, for people like me who like to automate things and, and uh, script things. And how do you run that? Uh, let me just show you. So flex ag is done on through the command prompt. Uh, yeah, we have time, I think. Um, and there is a data ag uh, file, executable batch file, and you specify the name of your aggregation file without the txt, just like my ag for example um and then it should be just running and producing the database so a little bit different approach you still get essentially the same data but uh, i think that it's better to transition if you're going to be working with the later data to to this um there is one more important change for the higher versions of the data uh, let me talk a little bit about that. So the version 6.2, which I think most of you probably have worked with, that is being superseded by 
version seven. Now version seven has not been very um, consistent or there's no final final version which always worked. Um, so the data aggregation uh, software would produce primarily data in the old format for version 6.2. Finally, version seven of the GTEP model is finalized and now the flex ag and gtab ag should produce primarily version 7 data and so um don't be too surprised it's coming uh, so when you finish the aggregation it'll create a folder with the data now we can go a little bit through the data to refresh our memory but look the data will be primarily produced for version 7 but they will produce a subfolder with a version 6 data which will look very familiar to you and we can talk a little bit about version 7 if you're interested um, I think that version 7 is a, um, a way forward it has several wonderful features and we can discuss them if anybody is interested in knowing what's new um, so but before we get carried away uh, let's go back